Welcome back to the first edition of the new European Yodelcast. I am your host, Doc Lettison. and joining me for some color commentary is Apple Juice. We will be watching a matchup between Heartbreakers and the Art of Warfare in the ESL Best of Three series. Uh, as this game quickly gets underway, I'm going to give you guys a roster rundown. On Blood Eagle, we have Heartbreakers with Knutson, Bins, Mimelin, Miri, LB, Shaz, and Greg... Greg... Gregunesh, Gregunesh, eh, we'll figure it out during the cast. And for the Art of Warfare, on the Diamond Sword side, we have Free Oath, Kvist, Stambo, Nofawu, Jixid, Arsenic, and Stambo, unless I already said that. So we are starting here with Crossfire. The rules are first to seven for any of you American listeners used to the first to five. And uh, Loser chooses the second map. We do not know the current maps because it depends on that. And here we go with Shaz getting us started with a quick grab. Going about 160, 400 health going through the midfield. Making it out pretty easily all the way back to his base. It's going to be a quick 1-0 for Heartbreakers here unless... Nope, no one's able to come in and do anything, so that's a very fast cap. I was not paying attention to see whether he was doing a rock route, but those will be changed in the upcoming patch, so... We shall see if they keep this up. In the meantime, Mimelin doing a continuation grab down to 346 with some good sniper fire there. Down to 46 health, but activated his shield pack. Tried to toss it off to Shaz. Barely missed the toss, but it is back at his base. He's going to pick it right back up again. Sniper fire could finish him off, but the sniper shots are just barely missing. And he gets the second cap. So a quick 2-0 there for Heartbreakers. And as we have a little bit of a break quickly, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some background information on this match. It got started very quickly, so I didn't have time to give you the usual rundown. Uh, Heartbreakers is the number two seed in this tournament, with the Art of Warfare being the 26th seed. So prediction-wise, I guess I would have to say I expect Heartbreakers to win. Um, and so far, it certainly seems like they're going to, but uh, hopefully we'll get a good game anyway. <clears throat> with that said, I'm going to go ahead and let Juice introduce himself again here, as we still have a good break. So go for it, Juice. Well, I'm sure you've all known me by now. Um... I'm actually still in the U.S., unfortunately, uh, but I will also be moving in. Europe as soon as Shaz picks up the bike coming from the back. 770 health left, 220 kilometers an hour, all the way back to base as the flag had been grabbed by Arsenic, who punts it away uh, for the Art of Warfare. Shaz sitting on the on his own base, waiting for that flag to be returned as Nofowu. Nofowu picks up and then immediately dies to LB. LB uh, trying to get the return and does um, as Greganich. Don't know why he's not capping here. Up, oh, passes it off to Knutson, making it 3-0. Yeah, I, I'm expecting a pretty quick win here by um, <laughs> by Heartbreakers. I mean, they're a pretty good team. They're probably the number two team in Europe. Uh, who knows in the world, because that's always hard to compare. But, yeah, I really don't know anybody from the Art of Warfare, so who knows? Well, I must say, I don't know many European players at all, so it's not exactly fair, but uh, as I forgot to mention, I am now in Europe, uh, so I will be covering the European scene a lot more. I will still be keeping up with some of the U.S. scene, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on the European one, so hopefully in due time I'll get to know everyone better. Uh, as far as number two, number one team, uh, they are actually holding the number one spot on Game Shrine. I'll be bringing that game to you tomorrow as they face off against IDK, their rivals for the number one spot so for now I guess I'm gonna keep calling them the number one team as we did have a couple pickups there as I caught on camera uh, Bin's there just making a last little grab punting it off LB trying to pick it up off the field but he's got no health he's gonna leave it for Shaz who comes in with pretty good speed but only 510 health it's a couple sniper fire and he should be taken down there he goes down to 61 and snipe down good job by Jixid there and this is probably gonna be returned here by Nunu so good job by him and I'm just going to go quickly over their defense setups for each team to see what they're doing. For uh, Heartbreakers, they are running with the Sentinel with Knutson. They have Greganish there on the Soldier, as well as Miri doing a little bit of DMing and also in Soldier. So it looks like they're running a three defense, four offense strategy, uh, which seems to be working pretty effectively. Knutson there is doing a great job sniping and then chaining down with the Falcon before the Carriers even managed to get in. I think they've only gotten one legitimate grab off. So that's clearly a strategy that they've perfected and are working very, very well. So he's pretty much single-handedly taking care of all this. As we saw Shaz there coming in and missing that grab, it looks like he's going to go here for a llama grab regardless. Nope, he's going to hit the edge and just fall down. In the meantime, Nofuwu getting a grab out, but gets taken out by the base turret. Interesting there. Um, as a note, the generators do not respawn automatically. You'd have to repair them. Uh, and the Heartbreaker's generator is obviously up, but... 
could easily and quickly be taken down. I don't know why they haven't. Anyway, in the meantime, Shaz respawning or setting up for a back route, but does get taken out by a sniper before the flag even gets close to the midfield. LB doing some really good damage there on Stambo, preventing this from being returned, waiting for someone to come in and make a grab. No one's really doing it, though. Free Oath is coming in here now, finally. And there we go. LB, unfortunately, too focused on the DMing, did not get that flag and let it get returned. But Bin's there to make the grab. Down to 29 health, though. Some good shots coming in. He does get taken out. Shaz is there for the pickup. 870 health. Sniper fire just barely misses him. 120 speed. Tried to chuck it off to Mimelin and missed. And Kvist is going to get the return. So good job by Kvist taking advantage of that miss. Uh, looks like Heartbreaks might be doing a little bit of flag tossing practice or something. They maybe want to get to six caps before they start messing around like that, but, you know, they are pretty solid here in this game, and I don't really see them losing at this point, but this is crossfire. Anything could happen. In the meantime, Ben's doing a little bit of a front-to-back route. Full health getting out pretty easily, 140 speed. No sniper I can see. It looks like he must have just been taken out. A couple shots should be coming in here any second now. Yeah, here we go. They're starting up now. They were a little bit behind, and he still hasn't been hit at all, so he's probably going to be able to make this all the way back to his base by himself. Not really any chasing coming in, and he does even boost himself a little bit using the shield pack and the grenade launcher, and there we go. Oh, nope. Gets body blocked by his own teammate. Good job there by Mimelin, preventing the cap on his own team. I love that. And there we go. 4-0. So good job by Bins with uh, taking advantage of the lack of defense on the other team and just getting out with a nice little front to back. A uh, quick couple other notes that I need to mention. Uh, my computer that I'm currently on is a lot weaker than the one I have in the US, so there may be FPS problems jumping out here and there. I hope they will be minor, um, but over time I'll be able to fix them and see what exactly is going on. So have some patience with me, guys. This is the first cast on this computer, so hopefully everything will go smoothly. If not, we'll fix it for future casts. In the meantime, we were just watching Nofawu trying to make a grab there, but he did get taken out, or blocked rather. Shaz, in the meantime, was doing, I assume, a back to front, possibly a side to side, getting all the way back to his base. Got pretty much no health, but in the meantime, Arsenic making a grab, preventing the cap, chucks it, uh, doesn't even get very far, it hits the hill, unfortunately, and bounces wrong. Kavis gets taken out, Miri with the return, and Shaz tossed it off to Gregonish, who gets the cap, making it 5-0. Uh, just over 17 and a half minutes left to go, so a pretty quick game. This is going to be two more caps, and we will be moving on to the next map. I'm not sure what it is yet, obviously, because it hasn't been decided. Uh, loser picks. Certainly an interesting way of uh, going about things. But going back to what I was discussing before, the defensive strategy here for the Art of Warfare, we do have Jixid on the Sentinel. We've seen him do a couple really nice snipes. Stambo seems to be here in the Soldier as well, and I'm assuming they have one more defender. Out and about somewhere. I can't see him. Juice, do you know who's been uh, defending this whole game? For Art of Warfare? Yeah. Uh, no, I've actually been watching the defense from uh, Heartbreakers. I believe it was actually Nunu who right there is in Technician, uh, setting down a motion sensor here. He took out Shaz, who was coming in from the back, um, preventing an uh, easy cap for the back-to-front grab, so... Good job by him setting up that motion sensor. It's really messing him up. Shaz coming in there again, making a little bit of a mess of things. We do have a first strike here out on the field. It's Mimelin. Um, interesting. I, they don't really need a strike on this map, but hey, they're going to take it anyway and just probably get some practice in with it. He is dealing mostly with the sniper, which is a great strategy. That sniper really can't do all that much against the strike. He does just suicide out and sets up again, assuming that Shaz is going to be coming in at some point. Uh, in the meantime, though, Nofawu getting out with the flag, but does get taken down fairly quickly. A good attempt, though, at least getting the flag out in the field. If they had some escort here, they would be able to pick this up and possibly get it quite a bit closer to the base. Instead, it's a nice, easy return there for Greganoush. In the meantime, though, the defense has really started to pick up a little bit here. We do see they are bringing out a Juggernaut there as HOF. Uh, so that's going to be that's going to be nice for them. He is he does not have super heavy though, so maybe he's playing more of an offense or not really doing an HOF. Maybe going for more of a midfield role. But uh, they haven't Heartbreakers hasn't actually gotten a cap or a, or a really good grab in the last couple minutes. So. Good job here by the Art of Warfare, picking up their defense a little. Uh, and as I say that, of course, Shaz coming in with a nice grab. Getting away at about 200 speed, so not great, but more than enough. Got full health. Sniper shots are missing. There we go. One connects down to 600 health. Still making it back to his base. Barely any people coming after him. Stambo trying to catch up to him, but he's probably not going to make it. Arsenic in the Infiltrator trying to do something about it as well, but just too far behind, and Shaz makes it 6-0. One more to go. 
And Mimmel in there with the continuation grab. Getting all the way back to halfway to his base. Barely under 900 health. Sniper fire coming in, but it's not going to be enough. They need to get an, an e-grab off right now. No one's there available to do it. This is going to be the game right there. 7-0 for Heartbreakers in about 10 minutes. So pretty much a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a wipeout there. Uh, unfortunate for the Art of Warfare. Uh, they had their defense really did pick up there in the end, though. They held them off for a good three, four minutes without them even getting a grab off. But unfortunately, in the end, it just looks like Heartbreakers just overwhelmed them with uh, with their offense. Yeah, one thing I noticed that uh, Heartbreakers did a lot better with is they were just straight up better duelers. Um, they they were able to take anybody one on one, sometimes two on one. LB was incredible at just staying alive and killing people. And on the other side, on uh, their defense, Heartbreakers actually had Neri switch to um, a Pathfinder uh, so he could chase down the flag instead of because uh, they obviously didn't need two soldiers uh, defend the flag since their DMing was so good. All right, well, that'll do it for the first map. Just as a reminder, the score was 7-0. We will be moving on to the next map. We're still unsure as to what it is, but uh, you can be assured that we will be bringing it to you. So until the next map, thank you all for watching and listening. Please leave any comments below in the comments section. Uh, they are greatly appreciated, especially when we're just starting off with the Eurocasts. So thank you all for listening. Have a great night.